This week we're doing a freebie week. It's artist's choice because we're working on Tyler's bedroom and we're waiting on some curtain deliveries and we got a little carried away with the plushy mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just each doing our own projects that we're excited about, things that we wanted to do. So Tyler's up first. I couldn't really think of something to do until I looked at some of the plush mushrooms that we made and thought, what if those are people? Yeah. So we've got the classic red mushroom, not sure what it's called, the inky cat mushroom, and the indigo milk cat as just a bunch of people. I was just kind of going with some fun roundy shapes for the red one. She's she's cute. She's like a gem meets Mario. Princess Toad. Oh, Toad. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Garnet Toad and Princess Peach. If they had fusion. if they had a fusion. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your fusion sound? <laughs> That's what a fusion sounds like. <laughs> I like the way that her hair turned out kind of cool. everything's roundy on this girl and it's it's good stuff and then here is the inky cap fun fact about the inky cap mushroom did you know that they have those weird little drippy things because they have this chemical that basically they digest themselves really yeah <laughs> that's creepy but they're so pretty <laughs> yeah I wasn't really sure how I was gonna do the indigo milk cap, so I just gave him a little beret and a sweater. I love his beret. Mm -hmm. And it also kind of looks like the top of the mushroom. It does. Yeah, that's the point. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's blue. unusual to find blue things in naturally occurring. In so nature, it's... yeah. So yeah, mine's just funky mushroom people. I think they all turned out cute. They're so cute. Next up is Samantha. You've been doing a lot of practice with pencils mm -hmm. lately, using just pencils and doing a lot of very complicated shading. It's been very interesting to watch you experimenting. So I'm drawing one of my Minecraft characters that I made recently. She's a goblin and it's for SMP that my friend Marnie made and we've been playing it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, pencils. So I had a whole style specifically for pencils, and the biggest difference is the eyes and shading. Do you like the pencil better or Procreate better? Procreate, you can get smoother lines, and instead of erasing, you just do undo button. Yep. And you don't have to get up and get supplies or ask anyone where the clipboard is so you can draw <laughs> on the couch. I like it when you sit next to me on the couch and you're drawing. It is a bit hard to get like a full erase with the pencil eraser. You do a lot of erasing when you're doing a pencil drawing. Mm -hmm. You go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Mm-hmm. The easiest part would be shading. Yeah, you've done a lot of shading with the pencil. Like the easiest part that seems like it would be hard, you just like dark later, 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 barely doing anything. You've got a lot of patience. Spread out mm -hmm. and then fade. Mm -hmm. And you can move it with your finger to make it 
better. And then you got fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to figure out how to deal with those fingerprints. Mm -hmm. I like the shading. It's, it's cute. Yeah, I love the way you do the eyes when you're using pencils. I think you get really a lot of detail in there. Mm -hmm. And you get, <laughs> you're really committed to those dark, dark blacks too, which I love. I'm good at making really dark blacks. Last we have me, I am painting acrylic on canvas. I'm painting these flowers that we saw when we did our trip up into the mountains and we were drawing. And I wanted to paint them there. I had my watercolors, but there wasn't a spot to paint them up there. It was rocks up there and there was nowhere to put a chair at all. So I took pictures so I could paint them later. But when we were on our way down the trail, we found that little curvy that became Francois, the little blurst smiley snake. And I had to make Francois. So I didn't paint the flowers for my at-home project. So uh, they've just been sort of in the back of my mind. I'm happy I got a chance to do it, finally. This is the first time I've painted on canvas in years. First time I've done an acrylic painting this small that wasn't for a commission in a really long time, too. This was fun. Kinda looks like a beach with wet sand and the ocean until tree comes in. Kind of still looks like a beach yeah. with a spooky tree on it. So these flowers were at the top of a little waterfall. So I, I wanted to get the waterfall in there and some of the flowers. I darkened the background because I wanted the flowers to really, really pop off of the background. So I made the background darker and bluer than it really was. But that's the beauty of doing a painting. You can alter reality to suit your own aesthetic. Yeah. I really, really love painting flowers. Flowers and leaves are shapes that brushes kind of automatically want to make, just without even putting in any effort. So it's it's a fun thing to paint when you're trying to relax and you're wanting something that's sort of a break. You just trust the brush and relax and don't try to make it too precise and then it can be really, really fun. I especially loved painting the leaves for this one. So I based all of the flowers pink, and then went in and tried to get some shading in there. If I had spent a lot more time on the painting, then I would have tried to capture that sort of the translucency that petals and leaves have, because when we were there, the sun was sort of behind them. So you got some nice light through some of the flowers and leaves, but for a quickie fun painting, this I think turned out really, really nice. I'm very happy with it. I like it too. important thing when you're painting anything is the light. The impressionists knew it. You capture the light and you give it dimension. I like the flowers. I like the waterfall in the background that you did. Yeah, it's all just nice. Nice, mm -hmm. pretty. Nice and pretty. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna go in real life and touch it. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to paint nice. <laughs> pretty. Mm -hmm. 